So then guys, I got a cheapo compression tester from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive, I don't believe. It was 17 pounds or so. So I'm gonna, the engine is warm. It's been used for sort of 10, 15 miles. I'm gonna rip out each, each of the plugs. Compression test each cylinder with a throttle wide open. Very, very important thing to do. And then hopefully we get a very similar reading across the, you know, the, every every piston. I'll set the camera up so that you can see the pressure that's building as it's cranking. I've just got to whip out all the all the plugs and the coils. Once the compression test is complete and we don't see any issues, I'll take you through the plan of how I'm going to tackle this build. So I got all the spark plugs out. They don't look too bad. A little bit caked up, but they are new plugs ish. Probably sort of five, six thousand miles ago. And they do look okay to be fair. So I got all the plugs out, all the coils off. I'm gonna start with this cylinder, work my way across, throttle, throttle wide open and see how it, see what the pressure is. So, just done the compression test, and uh, as you've seen from the numbers, well happy with that. Uh, I was down 10 psi on one cylinder; the rest were 175 psi. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything more than that. It's so well within tolerance, and they're pretty much equal all the way. All, you know, all, all cylinders. So, you know, got no issues with that. I probably don't need to go any further with any other tests, really. Um, if I had the tools, I would obviously, but I don't. Um, I didn't see the need to get it, to get them for you know for this. But we're happy with that. So just going to talk to you about the build and how I'm going to tackle it. Um, the the plan originally was to there's some noisy kids. Uh, the plan originally was to take the head off, get it sent away, and then wait for it to come back and assemble everything. But I was thinking about it, and actually, it might be a better idea to. Um, take the inner manifold, take the exhaust manifold off and actually mock everything up. So put the turbo on, the manifold, the front, you know, the inlet manifold, the exhaust manifold, the turbo, all the boost pipes, get all that mocked up. Um, and yeah, essentially have it so that when the head gets back, it's all ready to assemble because I, I need to get the boost pipes um, fabricated anyway. I don't want to just run couplers everywhere. I want the boost pipes welded. There's got a bit of welding on the exhaust that needs to be done. So rather than waiting for the head to get back and then do everything then, I might as well mock it all up. And then once it's, once the head's away, I can also send the boost piping away and all the exhaust stuff. So, and then obviously when everything gets back, they should be, you know, it should just be ready to bolt, everything bolt back on basically. So that's the plan. Um, the, uh, the build will be starting on uh, around the middle of July, so about two weeks from now. Um, I've got a couple of stag do's I need to go go to and need to use the car for. So when it, when that's all done, I'll, I'll start stripping it off. Um, so yeah, I mean the, the plan is essentially to you know take the front of, the front of the car off, the bumper, the, the stand panels, the radiator, air, you know air conditioning stuff, all that to come off. Um, and then inlet manifold exhaust off, uh, put all the turbo kit on it, mock up all the boost pipes, any any issues with the exhaust, need to mock that up as well. I need to do the screamer pipe that needs to be done from scratch, so I'll mock that up as well. Um, and then once I've done with that stuff and I know where all the coolant lines are running and all that good stuff, once that's done, I'll take the head off. I'll get that sent off for the machining. Uh, it's gonna have an overhaul done to it, so you know, cleaning and um whatever they do stem seals all that sort of stuff so and flatten you know deck the surface i'm also going to deck the uh get the uh, turbo manifold decked um thanks to road to power uh his youtube channel i'll link below he is doing a uh, mark 4 r32 build 
and he recommended that I heat soak the turbo manifold. Well, I'm glad he did because I did heat soak it and it, is, it does bend. So if anyone is getting one of those exhaust manifolds, no matter who you get it from, put it in the oven for, I think I did 80 degrees for 10 minutes. And then after that I did 20, 20 minutes at full chat, so 250 degrees Celsius. Engine started perfectly fine after the compression test. All the plugs and coils back in and fired straight up. As you can tell, it's quite a smooth running engine. Uh, no issues at all, so uh, yeah, happy with the result really. One thing I do need to find out is actually what I need to do with the cooler bottle. So eventually the turbo will, the, the boost piping will come around here and go down where the cool, um, where the windscreen washer bottle is at the moment. So I need to know what you guys have done. If you've done a build like this, what screen wash bottle you, you, you're, you are using, where you located it. So if you could let me know down in the comments, in the comment section, that'd be fantastic. Um, and also let me know in the comments where, you know, if you want to know any particular detail while I'm doing it, uh, if you've got any suggestions or anything like that, put it down in the comment box. I do read them and, you know, thank you for the comments on the last uh, video. It, it really made my day to see those thumbs up and the comments. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, please continue to do that. It's, it, you know, it really spurs me on. So, all right, guys, so thanks very much. And uh, see you on the next one.